Hello, everyone. My name is Adam Youngfield, and I'm a regional translation operations manager for the church working in the Salt Lake City headquarters. Today, I am going to show you the process that you'll use for downloading the files from Plunet, translating them in Trados, creating a, a project package for upload again into Plunet, and then for uploading those files into Plunet. This process is a little bit different than what you may be used to, but that's why I'm creating this video to help you understand it. So the first thing that you'll need to do is to go to Plunet, and in the project details that you typically see, you'll be able to access a source file that will contain all the project files. So in the source file, you will have a whole list of, pro of files that you can access, but the main file that you will need for translation is this zip file, test underscore, then the language code and the language name. For this demo, I'm going to be working with Danish, but of course you'll see your own language. So what I'll do is I'll click on this Danish file and that will download it automatically. Once it stops downloading, I can open it and I will find inside that zip folder a couple of Trados packages, WSXZ packages, like the ones that you see when you download them from World Server for any other project. So I'm going to click to open one of these files. Doesn't matter which one for the purposes of this demonstration. And when I do that, it will start taking me through the import process in Trados Studio that you're familiar with. Click Next, of course. It'll take a moment to import this package. And then I'll be able to continue. Now it'll ask me where I want to put this project, and I'm just going to put it in a project folder that I've created on my desktop. Select this folder, and then I can click Finish. Then I'll close that wizard, and as you can see, that project now will be available for me immediately in my Trados Projects page. So I'll click to open that project, and as you can see, for this project that I'm importing, there are two files available. Just for the sake of this demo and making it quick and easy, I'm only going to translate one of these files. So I'll open that file. Now, as you can see, some of this file has already been translated, but again, since this is just a demo, I'm going to put the word translation here to signify that that would be the translation that the translator would insert into this segment. I'm going to Confirm that segment, confirm this segment, and then I'm going to be pasting this word translation all the way down, mainly just so that we can get through this file and complete it, and so that I can show you what you will do to create a, re to create a package to send back through Plunet. Going through this quickly. You'll forgive me for not doing this extremely carefully because obviously I'm just trying to do it quickly so that I can show you the process. And I would naturally be much more careful if I were translating this for real. Okay, now that that part is complete and this file is completely translated, at least for the sake of this demonstration, I will save the file. Excuse me, I will save the file, not the project settings. And then I will 
return to the projects view and I will create a project package. Now it's important to remember that normally you would be creating a return project package, but since we're testing a new process in Plunet with this project, we're going to create just a project package. So please don't create a return project package, just create a return, just create a project package. So I'm going to click create project package. The first view is the, fo the files view. We want to include all the files that are in this project. Of course, I'm including the one that I didn't translate, but you will have translated all of the files uh, in this project by the time you get to this point. Click next. The defaults on the project package page are fine. So we'll click next, just one project package. When you get to this page, one of the requirements that Trados has is that you have to add a user. So I will add a user and I'm going to uh, add a new user. You can call it anything you want. I'm going to call this Plunet test user and click OK. And then I'm going to select the Plunet test user and click OK. Now, as I've said, you just have to have a user to assign this to. This is a requirement of Trados. It's not going to mean anything, and whoever receives this package down the line will be able to use it. But for now, you do have to create a user there. Now I will click Next. And on the additional op options page, all of the defaults are fine as well. So I'll click Finish. When you click Finish, Trados begins creating a package. And the easiest way to access that file once it's created is to click on Open Target Folder. That way, no matter where you've put it, this will take you directly to where that file is on your local drive. I'm going to minimize this for just a moment so that I can close this and return to Plunet. So in Plunet, on that same view that we were looking at, there is also a target folder. Now you can access the target folder either from the delivery tab, target data, or from up here. The easiest way to access it is, is right here on the details page. Click on the target folder. And then in order to upload the, the package that you've created, you'll simply go to your desktop, find the package, and then drag it and drop it into this window. Now, you'll have to click Upload when you finish this process. I won't do that because this is the live project. And so I'll, I'll simply just delete this package. But when you upload your packages, please click Upload, and then that will upload them to the target folder. And then you'll be done with the process. So I hope this was all clear. If there was anything that wasn't clear, then please contact me by responding uh, or contact one of your other regional translation operation managers by responding to the email that we'll be sending you with additional details. Thanks so much for your participation in this test. Hope to talk to you again soon.